All right, folks, if you're here, I'm assuming you're able to download Vesta successfully and get it installed, and now you're looking at it and going, what the heck do I do with this piece of software? So the easiest thing to do is just take it for a test drive. We're going to open a SIF file, note the .cif at the end, um, and then from a controls point of view, a lot of the basic controls are over here on the left, although I never honestly use them because it's all about hotkeys when it comes to Vesta. So when you load it up, you're automatically in the rotate function, so you can take your unit cell and rotate it. Um, if you ever fall out of that function, you can hit R to get back there. So the first thing when you see a system loaded up in Vesta is that it's going to automatically assign sort of bonds with quotes on them, and that's probably garbage. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to either go up to Edit Bonds, and now that we have these bonds listed over here on the right, edit bonds, and take a look at what it auto defaulted to. So it said there were some barium oxygen bonds. It's not exactly what we're trying to highlight. There's some yttrium oxygen bonds, not so exciting. And then the copper oxygen bonds, that's where the physics resides. So let's start by applying that, and that gets rid of the garbage bonds over here. So what's nice then is we're like, okay, we've got a plane of copper and oxygen here on the right. If we hit the S button, or alternatively, um, the white arrow over here, that allows us to select atoms. Delete those, delete those, delete those up here, rotate. And we start to see that we have the square network of um, oxygen and copper. Control Z to get those bad boys back. And we can also highlight that even further by hitting boundary over here on the left and expand our A, B plane from the look of it. So let's add that to two and two. We'll keep the uh, vertical axis unaffected though. Hit apply, boom, you've got more atoms. Okay, let's do the same thing again. And here we are. You can really start to see that copper oxygen plane. If you want to make it, make it nice and lined up, you can click the C button here and it'll point directly down the C axis. Not so bad. Um, cool. So that's sort of the first pass at Vesta. Uh, certainly it's an incredibly powerful little program, and I've touched on maybe 10% of it. But with these 10%, you can sort of go and explore from there. So have fun, folks.